Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Angel, who wanted the Nemo in the colors of the Psycho Gundam Mark II. So, I think I managed to do that fairly well. Psycho Gundam Mark II has some, uh, has some nice colors, and, uh, we are back with the 170mm cannon once again, because that's, I hadn't used it in a long time, and it's just a lot of fun to use, so that's what we're doing. Um, I... Hope I didn't post this already. I don't think I did. If you're seeing this for a second time, well, you won't see this for a second time because I'll actually go back and check before I post it. But yeah, brain's a little uh, off, so just uh, as usual. But yeah, it's a it's a uh, it's a good gun. Has good range. It is stopped to fire, but and sometimes I'm not good with that, like right there. And it also has pretty decent Vulcans, which is. Uh, which is good, because not everything at, uh, at, uh, 450 does. I think this is a 450, this is, uh, I think it's the level 2, because the Nemo comes in at 400, as I recall. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. I do not remember how I set the, uh, custom parts up at all, so... Apologies, but I don't have any, uh, any kind of, uh, information or advice on that one. Um, looks like our Hizak, Hizak cannon just, uh, fired through there. And, ow, I knew that was going to happen, and I did it anyway, but luckily so did the Jetta that was with me. And there's that, and a neutral, and get out of the way, and everybody, uh, uh, you know, between uh, me and mostly the two people who were following me, we got that, uh, we got that suit killed. I think it was Jim 3 powered? Mm, it's my best guess. Um, okay, that, uh, got a shot in on that person, they're about half dead at the moment. They are a gym sniper too, so and yeah, just basically circling with Vulcans, missing my downswing uh, a little bit. I'm gonna blame the incline. I think without that, I'd have hit it. And right now, just trying to uh, get some stuns off to help the person that is uh, that uh, was fighting that sniper too. Don't know how much I've done that because I uh, uh, that Gaza C kind of intercepted. And here's that gym three powered again. And, ah, good, that's their tackle. I thought uh, it was somebody else's, but yeah, that was a, gr a great tackle kill, and I just had to send nice over that, because it was. Um, five and a half minutes left, we've got a substantial lead, but it's not over yet. And didn't quite do enough damage to kill, but that's okay. We, we uh, got it done. The team is doing a really good job of sticking together. I, I hope I'm thinking about that as much as they are probably not but you know so, uh, good days and bad days good teams and bad teams if you I do better on a bad day with a good team than I do on a good day with a bad team I have a feeling that's fairly universal ow I was not expecting the death there um I was uh, I did not think I was going to catch the stun on that Gaza Sea as it flew by but uh it uh I was hoping that I could get enough Vulcan rounds in it to uh, knock it out of the sky. This obviously did not happen, because I got, you know, sniped in the face by a gym sniper, too. Okay. Um, yeah, they're, they've... they've I, well, they've caught up by uh, at least one me. I'm not sure uh, about anything uh, else at the moment. That camphor is a good thing for me to be fighting, because I believe melee is the only kind of uh, defense it really has going for it. And that's a Gaza D, which you, I'm sure you realized, like, ages ago. But I just realized now. And I probably... I probably just now realize there's a C and a D. No, there's just a D. I don't know. No, that's... Yeah, that's a D. Okay, yeah, so I got myself surrounded trying to deal with that camphor. Uh, the guys at D uh, was uh, very, you know, good at protecting their teammate, at least as good as uh, my team was at protecting me before, and I stuck my nose out way too far, thus I am dead. No, just the, it's, once the colors change, it's kind of hard for me to tell the difference between the Gaza C and the Gaza D. It basically comes down to the shape of the shoulder shields as much as anything, and that is uh, kind of a small cue. And let's see, Sniper 2 missed me, I missed Sniper 2, and now I'd like to get a little bit of cover between us, and yeah, that was a G5 Gundam, I remember that. 
and uh, since it was trying to get its Gatling uh, working, I was able to uh, finish it off. Let's see, Sniper 2's picked a different target. I, w I was moving my reticle while I was firing, which did not help anything, but grabbed that kill too, which, to be honest, I was just trying to uh, take the shot and, uh, you know, provide some support, but sometimes you end up taking the last shot when you do that. It fired over my head because of the landing crouch, and it is very dead. And there's, uh, they may have two G5s, because I'm pretty sure that is too soon for it to be back, though I could be wrong. But regardless, that is a G5, and I'm just waiting, because I can do a lot of damage against that if I can line up a shot. Or I can just do damage against whatever. Gaza D has come back, Gaza D has fallen down, and Gaza D has taken foot damage. So, you know, just especially with the flyers, it's good to, uh, you know, work the legs because if you damage their legs, then they cannot, uh, they cannot land without falling over. So, uh, that's, that's kind of an important thing. And the roof kind of messed up my shot there tw and my saber swing, I want to say. Um, I'll blame the roof for the bad saber swing at any rate. Luckily, my, uh, walk, my speed at walking backwards was just high enough that uh, I did not that I did not uh, get slashed but that said um, yeah I'm just weaving for cover at this point because I know that Gaza D is after me so I'm amazed it didn't just come down the ramp but it, I think it knew I kind of had uh, the advantage of it uh, if I did and now I'm trying to figure out how what to do and I yeah I decided to repair because if that Jim Sniper 2 is still on their base and I stick my head up, I'm dead. So, I may as well get, uh, get some repairs in and maybe be able to tank one shot and land a shot on something else before I, uh, before I drop. Especially since, you know, 2,000 points is not a huge difference at 450. So, yeah, it's, it's a good time to be landing shots and not dying. Um, and I was off a little bit on that one. Oh no, I didn't fire, and then I was, and then I hit its iframes. And there's the aforementioned Jim Sniper 2. There's the owl. I have 15 health. And I'm gonna die, but I'm gonna try to do something useful before I do. Nope. Well, I put a few bullets in the sniper, and we are still ahead by 1400 points or so, so I will take it. And now everybody is just kind of bunched up in the corner. That Gaza D is about ready to go, if anybody can get their hands on it. Right now, a little bit of a, a rough time in the corner, I think, but I'm pretty sure we still win. Um, I hope we still win. Yep, we still win. Just barely, though. But yeah, I think it went fairly well. I hope so, anyway. And let's take a look at the scores. Did I actually put anything on the board? No, because our Jetta was really doing well there. Um, 3 and 3, 70,000 damage though, so I'll take that. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! And I'm just going back to check now, so forgive any superfluous sound effects, but... Um... Yeah, they only had a ga they had a uh, Gaza D, G5, Jim Sniper 2, Jim uh, 3 powered, and a Camphor, which, yeah, should have been obvious, but I'm not good at obvious. <laughs>